My name is Ed Schlapps. I'm a senior technical specialist with ZF Occupant Safety Systems in Washington, Michigan. ZF is not in the business of producing seat belts for the racing environment, but there are a lot of similarities and there are different challenges that need to be solved. In the racing environment, you have a restraint system that's really designed around that driver. In the passenger car environment, we don't have that luxury. We have to design a belt system that can readily accommodate anybody that might drive that car. And of course, from a comfort point of view, when you get into your car to drive home tonight, you don't expect to be strapped in so securely that all you can do is turn your head a little bit. We're constantly balancing the safety performance of the seatbelt with the comfort of the seatbelt, and some of the new technologies are very much targeted in that direction. The buckle lifter is a technology to solve the trade-off between it being easier to get to the buckle if it's higher and readily accessible when you get in and out of the car, and then once you're buckled, the belt will recede back down to its normal design position, which, if it's optimized for safety, may not be the easiest place to get to when you want to wear the belt. When we talk about the speed at which a vehicle crash occurs, the entire event typically takes less than 100 milliseconds or a tenth of a second, which is actually quite a bit faster than blinking your eye. But one good example of that is in the technology ZF refers to as our active control retractor, which is a seatbelt retractor that includes a motorized system that's linked with systems in the vehicle and allows us to control the tension in the seatbelt and tighten it under different driving scenarios and potentially getting a head start on securing the seatbelt and ensuring occupant position before a potential crash. 